Hello. One second. Let's see here. <coughs> Okay, so making a uh, video, uh, and I'm going to call this video the final say, um, because it seems like, uh, well, what happened was I was looking at some things on the um, uh, Instagram, and she. A brother, <coughs> sorry, a brother was talking about um, things like uh, last week it was Lordship Salvation, this week has been um, repentance. That you only repent uh, to turn from your uh, evil, wicked ways, you only repent to turn um, to uh, uh, from religious matters and things like that, as far as idols and what have you. And uh, you repent for that, and it's becoming sort of a doctrine with people about these certain things, and it's something that one person is trying to teach to another, and you, you see it quite a bit. You see it happening quite a bit in churches. You see it quite a bit, and uh, on uh, uh, with Bible studies and things like that. Too many people are trying to teach other people discipleship, even at that, of what the Bible says. And when they ought to be taking the Word of God for themselves and reading what the Bible says. And if they don't understand the matter, they um, get the guidance from the Lord Himself by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit teaches us, not another man. Now, if the man is teaching you from the Bible as what the Holy Spirit is saying, good deal. Um, my son was telling me about, he went to church last night, which now it's Tuesday morning. Excuse me. What the other night now? And um, he was telling me about a man that was preaching the, about a guest pastor or something like that. Um, and he was talking about heaven. Heaven was going to have mountains. Heaven was going to have creeks and things like that. I'm like, well, understand this first, son. That the Bible um, doesn't really say anything about heaven having mountains, heaven having creeks. Um, it talks about the eternal city, of course, and things like that. And we can look up into the heavens and see outer space and things like that. And beyond that is the invisible heaven. So we have first heaven, which was the sky second heaven which is outer space and the third heaven we can't see and that's that's um that's where our loved ones are evidently but there's going to be a time when you know as far as the bible says that heaven will come down on earth what's unseen rather will be seen on earth uh, new jerusalem things of that nature and the earth is going to be reformed back to its paradisic state um anyway it just seems that many people are coming up with their own interpretations of what the God's Word says, whether that be Lordship Salvation, whether it be um, replacement theology, or what have you. Too many people are relying on what a, 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 a pastor says, a clergyman says, even Catholics. Who get me started? Um, too busy relying on what a priest says. Um, too many people relying on what men say and not going to the word of God and seeking God's face, seeking the Holy Spirit to teach them. As it says in um, John 14, 26 and John uh, 16, 12, I believe, and 13. So um, that's the problem right there. Anyway, let me get it up here while I'm at it. Um, scripture Let's see here and I'll show you exactly what I mean go to my bookmarks go to biblegateway.com and go to I'll go to interpretation first and see what I can tell you what I'm talking about interpretation the first Peter verse 20 second Peter or something 
shouldn't have it by now, right? <laughs> okay, so... Peter? Say good, Peter. Alrighty. It says, knowing this first, that no prophecy is of... No prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation. I'll read again, Second Peter verse one, Second Peter chapter one verse twenty. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of, of the Scripture. It didn't say of scriptures, of some, or of any scripture. It said of the Scripture, of the Scripture. Well, you know. If, but the said of the the scripture the scripture no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation okay so whatever we get from scripture is of scripture is the word of God and it should not be into man's private interpretation well the Bible says this the Bible says so and so the Bible's got this doctrine the Bible's got that doctrine um and then that become a teaching, a, uh, uh, you know, uh, something that you show other people and teach other people and so-called disciple them on. Um, that's, uh, the, the Word of God says it right there pretty clearly. Now, this is on viewed it, so you can see where my mouse is pointing to this. And if you don't have um, viewed it on the my movie maker here all you got to do is go to the link um, above here and that's not it right there well this little thing here I'm pointing at just go to that viewedit.com and you can see this um, link here anyway now let's go to um, let's see here John 14 show you this this is one of my favorite scriptures all of my favorite but this is one I kind of use the most John 14 26 and now John 16 12 13 uh, see here 14 26 it says but the comforter which is the Holy Ghost whom the Father will send in my name he he shall teach you all things and bring all things into your remembrance, to your remembrance, whatsoever I, whatsoever I have said unto you. Okay, let me read that one more time so I stumble on some words. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Okay. Did that have anything to do with a man? Did that have anything to do with a clergy, a pastor, or a priest, or whoever? God forbid a priest. <laughs> Long story on that one, right? Anyway, let's look at John chapter 16 here. So many Bible verses in here. And who... What is... I think it says in Psalm of Proverbs, Who art thou, man, that, you know... That thou would fear, fear a man or something like that. I forget which one it was. Man fear. Um, and in, in talking about and you shouldn't call anybody father or master or what have you. If I got in the time, I'll go to that one if I can. Hmm. Let's see here. John 16, 12. 13. John 16, 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, Notice his name here, the Spirit of Truth, is come. He will guide you into all truth. Because why? Because he is the Spirit of Truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. Bible prophecy right there. Okay. That that's pretty much it. That's ex that explains everything right there. The, the Holy Spirit is our teacher. Do we need any man to teach us? No. Okay, let's see here. Let's go to Master. Um, let's see here. 
think it's in Matthew. No man can serve two masters. Let's see here. Mm, I might be missing it here. Whale. The Bible's being, I mean, this this thing is being very difficult for me. But anyway, it, it tells us um, uh, about teacher and rabbi, master, what have you. I'll get it here in just a second. Whew. Let's see here now. I think we can get really close. Um. I love it though. I love the Bible verse is talking about here. And um, anyway, it talks about um, uh, you know about being a teacher. You shouldn't call some pastor. And it tells you all the things you've been given to do here. In Ephesians, he said he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers but that doesn't mean that we go to that teacher um and say oh wow you have all knowledge you're you're this that and the other you have every answer that i need unless that person has the holy spirit you ought not to be going to that person and listen to what they had to say that's the gifts of the um, spirit that um the lord has given to these men to these apostles and um it says it right here um anyway um keep on forgetting where i am first corinthians 12 28 and god has set some of the church in the church first apostles second secondarily prophets thirdly pre teachers and at, um, after that, miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, governments, and diversity of tongues. Hmm. Are all apostles, are all prophets, all teachers, are all workers of miracles? Hmm. Um, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Um, 1 Timothy 1, 7 says, Desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor wherever they affirm um everybody's got to you know pretend like hey i know all, i got all this stuff man i'm good at this i'm smart on this man she you can't beat me in that you can't beat me in this um but yet the lord talks about this doesn't he whereunto i am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher unto the gentiles paul says to timothy for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And I think this is a time we're in. We've got too many people heaping to themselves teachers. Too many teachers not full of the Holy Spirit or having the Holy Spirit. Uh, who, who point to those people who they teach and that, that they don't teach in and of themselves they teach by the holy spirit and if they don't then there's no need for them to teach at all right Update thing. um anyway hebrews 5 12 says 
I'm sorry, Titus 2.3 says here, The age women likewise, that they be in behavior and best, becometh holiness, not false excuses, not even too much wine, teachers of good things. Okay, Hebrews 5.12, good things. What is the order of good things? Things of God's word for sure, right? Hebrews 5.12, for when, for the time you ought to be preachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk, and not of strong meat. Very true. <laughs> Second Peter 2 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall begin bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. So, with that being said, um, and I can't find the darn verse or chapter or whatever that is that talks about uh, that no man um, uh, call no man. Let's see if I can do it like that. Call. Oh, here we go. Roman, uh, Matthew 23. Let's see it in context. Matthew 23. And, but be ye called not rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. Okay. Uh, be ye not, but be ye not become, be not, be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. Um, and call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. To me, that speaks of Catholicism. Father McConaughey, Father O'Donnell, and so far, so far, and so forth, and so on. Um, neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. Um, anyway, there we go. And it clearly says it. Uh, pastors teaching other people things and things that nature is good. It's great. But the pastor ought to be teaching strictly from the word. He not, not to be caught coming up with his own doctrines. If he's a teacher, the teacher ought to be coming straight from the word of God. Not something from his own head, not his own interpretation, as Peter was talking about, but straight from the Word of God. Um, well, that's all I had to say about that, and I hope you got something out of it. I sure did. And um, too many people nowadays are just doing that. They're, they're um, I think what it would all start about is. Guy on Instagram was criticizing uh, Stephen Anderson <laughs> and saying he just, some of them were saying that he was too loud for them, you know, stuff like that. The band's saved. He just preaches really hard and he pushes people away when he shouldn't. But that's okay. I mean, some people get something out of it, some people don't. Um, the people who don't want to get nothing out of it, that's their, that's their issue and you can't make them believe what they should believe you know and what can you do and that's the thing um people are going to believe what they want to believe even though they might read the bible and that's the most important thing um, whenever i'm saying that because that's why we have to have the right bible the, the right word of god the true word of god the authorized version and not the invention of any man which is directly related to about his own personal interpretation, private interpretation. So if he's going to give his own private and personal interpretation, his own teaching, he's going to end up coming up with a Bible that reflects that. And look how many are out there. Wow. And I hope you get time to watch my other video, and I talk about that quite a bit. Uh, anyway, 20-minute long video. See you. God bless.